Hello, Bobby Joe. Chris, did you fall down? You can't get up. Press that yeah, button on your necklace. Up, and I really can't even flip over. Hello, Chris. Let me try to. Who's who's actually doing the uh, training today? Francisco. Okay. Francisco's doing it. Yep. All right. Let it's me. Um, hold on. Let me see if I'm live. Press the button on your necklace, and someone will come and help you up. On my what? Press the button uh, on your necklace. You fall and you can't get up. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> I literally, I was washing my truck, and I, all of a sudden, my hip went out, and I literally barely made it in my truck. It took me ten minutes to get into the house, and then uh, I had to get my wife to help me onto the table, and I tried to adjust it back in. That didn't work either. Hold on. That's the age. That's the aging process. Shush. I am not getting old. I'm just messed up. Mm. Almost live. Almost live. <clears throat> Supposed to be going to a, a party in a little while. Uh, if I'm like this, I'm not going to make it. All right, here we go. I don't know why it has me press live multiple times. Um, if you are not muted, let's mute the phone, please. All right, here we go. Oh, wow, the cover photo is me laying on the ground. That's beautiful. All right, let me mute everyone. And then do you want me to um, turn the host over to you or not? Francisco, unmute yourself. Yes, you can turn it off for me so you don't have to. Okay, you're in under my account. Yes, I'm only your it's, it's already it's already uh recording onto my computer. So awesome. um thank you, Heidi. Um all right, so everyone, uh we have the amazing Francisco <laughs> that's gonna be doing this training this morning. Uh you guys are definitely gonna get some value here. Uh Francisco <laughs> Francisco not only absolutely understands comp plans, but he knows how to get a new person started and started correctly. Um, the guy's a total rock star. Really excited to be working with him. So with that being said, I'm going to turn off my camera and mute myself and over to you, Francisco. Thank you. Thank you, Chris. Chris, I hope you feel better during the day. You need to because, you know, we have to see the fun Chris and the Chris that is always here to add value to us with the mindset. So good morning, everyone. I hope everyone is ready to rock and roll this day. I have to tell you that I'm super excited. I had my triple shot of those this morning already with the lemonade, the nitro, and the regular coffee. I always love that in the morning uh, because I feel amazing and I just want to feel those and love. So let's talk about how you get started for all of you that are just in the beginning stages of their business. Like Chris says, my name is Francisco Ramirez. Um, I love this industry. I've been in this industry since I was 18 years old. And like the majority of you, I started because I wanted to do something part-time. Okay, I was in college. I was um, needing some extra income. And I went to a bulletin board in my college and I saw an ad that he was inviting me to a meeting. That's how I started. And that's why um, I started to want to earn extra $500 a month because I, I was living in, in my college uh, dorms and all that stuff. And I say, extra money, it's what I need. So like uh, the majority of all you, I started this industry because I wanted to earn extra money. I, I, wasn't aware of this industry. I was a 
a new guy that just wanted to to learn about this new profession that I was into it. So in 1995, I started in this amazing industry. I fall in love with everything that it's about it. I fall in love with the residual income, with the passive income. I went to college to study finances and economics. And one day, a professor in my college said um, that when you work for somebody else as an employee, you have to give always 100% of your efforts. That's nothing that you cannot negotiate because you are an employee. You can be fired if, you don't, if you're not doing 100% of your efforts. But guess what how much your boss is paying you back? When he said this number, that was lights bulb for me. He said 18% of what you are worth it. So you receive back in compensation, in value, 18% of what you worth it by giving 100% of your efforts for somebody else. So in the future, this is what this professor was saying, in the future, the future of economics is gonna be for entrepreneurs, for business builders, for people that want to really build their own income. And let me just mute someone here, iPhone, boom. There you go. And that stick on me, and that's why I decided that I needed to be more into being an entrepreneur than becoming an employee. So how do you get started with this company? And I wanna say, and I wanna talk to you very real here. This is one of the easiest opportunities that I have done in all my years of career. This is the most simplistic business that if you put your mind on it and you establish the mindset from the get-go, you can build a significant income or you can achieve your goals faster. It's just about your mindset. So the first thing that you need to do when you come in this business is to establish the mindset of a goal setter. For me, that's the first thing that I should do. Actually, when I sign up a new promoter or a new affiliate, I do what I call the flu shot. The flu shot is when, when you vaccine someone, a baby, you're vaccinating that person apparently to not be contagious to different disease, correct? So when I do the flu shot to a new promoter that have never done network marketing, what I want to achieve is make him understand that it's not about the outcome. People are gonna tell you no. I know you're gonna go run into your family. I'm gonna tell them. I know you're gonna go to your cousin, to your brother, to your sister, to your mom, to your dad, to your grandparents. Who in this call have gone with their family already and every single one of them has said no. That happens. Family say, wait a minute. Now you're selling coffee? Now you're selling supplements? Now you have a lemonade? I don't think so. Family are the first skeptical because they haven't seen you achieve any level of success. Or if you have achieved success before, they just want to know how much you're going to last in this, in this business, in this company. That's why families sometimes are the most skeptical in the beginning. So what I, what I try to do with the flu shot, it's making that new affiliate understand it's okay to receive it now. It's okay for you to be rejected because the fear of rejection in this industry is what made 97% of people quitting. There's no failing in network marketing. When you are an entrepreneur, you, it's impossible for you to fail. The only thing that it is, is quitting. If you quit, you don't know what was waiting for you in the future. You never know. And I have listened to story after story of people that started in this industry and they had to wait for seven, eight, nine, ten years to achieve a level of success that they feel accomplished in this industry. The only thing that matters was that they never quit. And that's very important in the beginning when you have a new affiliate because I'm speaking now to people that are signing up, new promoters that have never done this in this industry. Write me in the comments who's a rookie. Write me in the comments who's a veteran. 
who have been doing network marketing for more than five years, six years, 10 years, 20 years. There's people here that this is their first company. So if this is your first company, this is your first time doing network marketing, write it in the comments. You are a rookie. This is your first company. It's my first company. So because it's your first company, you have to properly understand that people are going to tell you no, that people are going to reject you, and it's okay. It's the first time that you can say, it's okay for me to be rejected. It's okay for me to receive a no. Okay? Then next, what, I'm going to, what I do or what I would highly recommend for you if you're starting in this business is navigate your back office. Now we have a getting started manual guide with how to properly build your business in social media. Guys, it's amazing. I'm not a big social media guy because when I started in 1995, guess what? There wasn't any smartphones. It was flip flops. I don't even remember those phones at that time. 1995, there wasn't any smartphones, no iPads, no Facebook, not, not uh, any kind of social media. Our social media was grabbing a phone, grabbing a yellow pages and start calling people. Not only that, our social media were going what we call canvassing, go driving around, stop the car, and then walking all the neighborhood and start like calling people out. I want to present you with my product. I want to present you with my opportunity. That was our social media in 1995. 1996, 97, all those times. And I know there's a couple of veterans here that know what I'm talking about, okay? That's why a lot of people sometimes are frustrated when you try to talk to them about this because they go with their PTSD thinking about those days. I say, I don't have the age, I don't have the energy to go back again and be like calling everybody out in a cold, cold setting or going, and knocking on doors to everybody to prospect them. But we now with social media these days, we have the opportunity to build a significant business. Now I don't even call it a home-based business. I call it a phone-based business. With the new app that we have, you can build business from the beach, you can build business from your hotel, from the airport, from the bank, um, from everywhere you are because you have the power of a smartphone now to build business. We have the power of the app. Who's in love with the new app? I love the new app. The other day I sent a ton of text messages with the info. And that brought me people trying the product. They purchased a new sales uh, combo and people significantly interested in the opportunity. The app is the message. It's gonna send the message. You only have to be the messenger. Do not overcomplicate the message, okay? The only thing that I will highly recommend and suggest you is get your experience together with the product and start practicing your story. Create a significant story for two minutes. And the two minutes, do not complicate anything. It's about sharing a significant story, okay? If you have an experience already with the product, how you can share your story with the product to the masses in a story way? Because guess what? And I have listened to this for years. The story sells. The stories sponsor new people. It's not the facts. It's not everything that you know. As a matter of fact, if you become scientific, if you become like the expert, you're not gonna be able to duplicate this business. So what I would highly recommend is if you have already an experience, if you are like me, for example, I'm gonna share with you immediately. 15 months ago, a friend of mine, Bill and Cheryl uh, Jocks, shared with me this experience. They sent me a three-day sample, okay? As soon as I tried the product, it was a Saturday. 
it was my the biggest day on the week in my uh work in my job at that time i used to work in a dealership i was a sales consultant so i was selling cars always on my feet and at that time i was having a problem on my feet i was having inflammation issues and i also was a little bit worried about my sugar levels so what happened i tried the sample that first day on a saturday and guys it was like in 50 minutes literally like if I was a junk card with a bad battery, they put the cables on the battery and it jump start that battery and the car start driving. My brain acted that way. It's like literally the coffee was putting those junk cables on my brain and all my focus, I was all so concentrated. I wasn't hungry at all. So I was working. Um, helping customer after customer after customer, and someone tipped our dealership with 14 pies of pizza. I'm a pizza guy, and I love pizza. But for the first time, I was rejecting pizza that day. So my best friend in the dealer, he said, who in the world is my friend? I don't even know you. And that's how my relationship with Dosa started. It was like a first sight love. I was feeling amazing for the first time. I decided to go and, put a, and buy a salad instead of eating the pizza. Guys, I, in the first 90 days, my results were amazing. I lost around 50 pounds. My size pants went from 46 to 38 and 40. My, it was so significant that my inflammation problems diminished completely. I was feeling amazing because the product was making me feel amazing. You share that story, you learn how to share your story in two, three minutes, and you're gonna be counting the money in little machines if you want to do that. If you only wanna make $500 a month, you're gonna get to $500 a month quickly if you learn how to share your story with other people. If you learn how to impact people with your story. So I highly recommend to start reading everything on the getting started. The first thing that you have to make sure that your upline support is scheduling a welcome call with you. If you haven't received a welcome call from your upline, make sure that your upline support is scheduling a welcome call. Okay? Because a welcome call is when you can get stick to the culture in this company. I always said in my story that the product brought me to this company. I wasn't looking for an opportunity of making money with this. I just tried the coffee, blew my mind. I, I wasn't, I, I had a big PTSD with product based companies. And I, you know, when Bill tried to show me the comp plan and information on the business, I immediately rejected. The only thing that I said, I want to try the product. And if the product is good, I become your customer. That's what I said. The thing that attracted me was the product is that powerful. 15 minutes was working for me. The thing that stick me in this company was two weeks into the business, I went to the convention, June last year, 2018. And I saw the culture. I hang out with the peeps. I hang out with Shane McCardle. I hang out with the team. I hang out with Chris Schrader. I met Chris Schrader, Ricky Duran. I met every single member of the team that were around me. And I saw the culture and fall in love with the culture completely. And like I said, cultures take me in. That's why I've been here for 15 months. I didn't receive my product, my original order, like in a month because we were having all issues with the shipping that we don't have anymore, thank God. And what happened? I keep it going because the culture in this team, it's amazing. The one team, one dream is real, okay? So guys, uh, I don't wanna be so extent. So what I wanna be talking to you is principles in network marketing. I wanna talk to you about Pillars in this industry that are very important for all of you that are starting in this in this business Actually, this is something that even the people that have been doing this for longer years should always have in mind pick in mind because 
you don't build anything significant without the pillars. If you're gonna build a house, the first thing that you have to build are the pillars, the structure of the house. If not, any earthquake, any hurricane will destroy your house. Make sense? So pillars are very important. So network marketing, like every significant um, building that you are um, building for yourself have pillars. And the first pillar in network marketing is sponsoring. So the first activity, the phase one activity when you start in this business is to start sponsoring people, customers and new affiliates if you want to build a team. If the only thing that you want, you came here and you're in this training and your first mindset that you have is, I want to know how I can get my product for free every month. I'm going to give you a number. You need three customers. Retail. And I'm going to start talking numbers. Now, simplistic numbers on the comp plan that you can completely understand and say, okay, this is the goal that I need. I want my product for free every month. I want to receive my money back every month. So the only thing that you need to learn with your offline support is to get three retail customers on those every month. Have you say how that works? Simple. You're gonna earn if the customer purchases the regular dose. Now we have the lemonade. So if it is a cess dose or the regular coffee dose, you know it's $105, correct? So you're gonna earn $21 per customer. That will be $63. Then you're gonna earn the uni level at 7% first levels for every promoter that are an entrepreneur to Royal Black Diamond, you're gonna earn a 7%. So that being said, three customers are gonna pay you $17.64. And then we have a cool bonus that is a customer acquisition bonus. And because you are bringing acquired three new customers, for that month, you're earning extra $25. With that said, it's $105.64 that you're gonna earn back. Tell me if that's not awesome if your mindset is, I want my free product. If you love your job, if you love what you're doing in your job, and the only thing is, I love this product, but I want to, I don't, does not want to budget from my regular business or my regular uh, job money to pay for that product every single month. I want that product to be for free. So what you do is three retail customers in a month. If that's, is, is that difficult? If you are having the proper help and support from your upline support, from your sideline, from your downline, for whoever you have helping you, three customers in a month have to be a great goal for those that want the product for free. Retail customers. And then you're gonna tell me, okay, what about smartship customers? Because I would love to have customers in Smartship repeating products month after month after month after month. And with that income, my product is for free. That's simple. Six customers. When you achieve six customers, you're going to be earning $98.28 between the um, Smartship retail side weekly and the unit level portion. Okay, and if you do it in your first month, you also gonna earn extra $50 in your bonus. But if it is customers that are repeating month after month after month after month, with six customers, your monthly consumption is completely for free. Why I want to bring this to you, I know you have a system. I know you wanna have seven customers and three promoters in a month. I know that. Those, I consider it to happen for the 20 percenters. I want to talk to you that are an 80 percenter, that you came to this business with the mindset of earning your product for free or $500 extra a month. 
you don't want to be like, ah, I don't want to be in all this training. I don't need to learn all this. I just love this product to a point that I want it for free. I want an extra $500 a month because with that I can pay my car and I'm not in jeopardy to lose everything. Do you know that statistically says that if you add $500 a month in a household, you are saving that household from bankruptcy. That's what the statistics shows. So if you learn how to make extra $500 a month, you have everything in your power, not only to keep it that way, but to help others to do the same thing. Okay? So six customers in a smart ship, you have your product for free. All right? So why i want to make sure that happens and i teach this to someone because uh many years ago a book and someone taught me a very important and significant lesson in this industry you don't need to go for the home run you just have to keep swinging the ball and go for the hit the double the triple this business sometimes we get into the bad habit of comparing our journey with somebody else. And when that happens, you're frustrated yourself and you stop building your business because you're always comparing yourself with other journeys. And I want to, to make sure that you're free from that. In this business, you don't need to make a lot. You don't need to go out and sign up 700, 800 customers, 1,000 customers. You don't need to go out and recruit 100 distributors. You just need to have little, you just have to bring into your business a small amount of people that partner with you and each one of them duplicate a system that is going to go in depth and is going to create a significant amount of people doing small things. So you don't need to do big things. You just have to do small things and teaching people doing exactly the same thing. Because guess what? In the principle of a sponsorship, in that pillar, you don't recruit you sponsor so you're not recruiting people like an army man you know the army guy in the front end right he's sitting down there's a table and that guy is trying to recruit you to the army you're never going to see him again until you graduate maybe when you recruit people to this business sometimes the majority of the people are sent sticking that people to the wall to say if they can stick that's why some people say recruit, 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 recruit. No, I prefer to sponsor. When you're sponsored, there's a principle in this. In the beginning, you're going to do it for them. You're going to teach them. You're going to duplicate the system. You're going to show them how to do the business with the example. In the beginning, when I started, my sponsor told me many years ago, watch me. Your first two presentations, you're going to watch me. You're just going to edify me. You're just going to validate why I'm going to be the presenter, why I'm going to talk with that prospect. So it's the same thing that we do when you do a three-way validation. You're going to make the phone call to that leader that is helping you. Okay? The validation is important because when you are selling the opportunity to a new prospect, you're selling it to the mind. And everything you do from step one, they are thinking and overthinking if what you are doing is so simple that they can do it. So it's a psychology closing. That's what I call a psychology closing. That's why when you sponsor someone, you are helping all over the way. Actually, you lock arms with your with your person that you enroll and you go all over the place with them you're going to spend a lot of years together because they are going to be part of your family forever actually when you sponsor a new promoter that is helping you build the business it could be an 80 percent or it could be a 20 percent you have to understand that now you have a partnership for life and sometimes you're gonna have discrepancies sometimes you're gonna be like 
I'm mad at you. But great families, great brothers and sisters always can get mad at themselves, but they always gonna find a way to love each other. And they always gonna find a way to love on them. That's why the secret sauce that we have created here is how you want people to feel, how you wanna make them feel. That's the secret sauce to retention. It's the way Mark and Judy thought from the beginning and duplicate how they may feel Chris, Ricky, Robin, and every single one of the first people that started this business 24 months ago. How Mark and Judy managed to make them feel and to make us feel. Judy make me feel like, a mo like she's my mom, like an extra mom. And I've been here for 15 months. I'm not here even since the beginning. So the way she makes feel the first person that started this month is the way that she makes feel every single one of them. That's the secret sauce to retention. That's the secret sauce to actually manage to help people understand that no matter where you are in life, no matter if you want the product for free, no matter if you want to make extra $500 a month, no matter if you want to make a significant income in this, in this business, I'm going to love you there. I'm going to make sure that I'm going to love you in every stage of your business. You know why? I'm going to give you a secret. You can have a, a, an 80% that only is interested in $500 extra a month. But then you love that person so much, you help that person. You spend 20% of your time with the people that want the product for free, the people that want an extra $500 a month, and when they call you. You're not gonna, you, as a leader, you're not calling a $500, a, a 80% all the time because that's not what they want. They don't want you to be calling them every single day. They just want to make extra money and they're going to call you when they need you on a validation and they just want to share the story with people and if they're making extra $500 a month, they're happy. They don't want that pressure of being receiving calls every time. That's why in the Pareto principle, there's a principle called Pareto. I don't, you know, my accent is a little bit tough there for that word. Says the 80-20 rule. It says that 20% of the people create 80% of the results. And 80% of the people create 20% of the results. So the majority of the people are the people that just want the product for free and the $500 extra a month. That's the principle. So in time, you spend 80% of your time with the 20 percenters and 20% of your time with the 80 percenters. Make sense? Of course, well, in my, in my book, makes a lot of sense. And it works tremendously. Because then you don't get frustrated when you think, oh my God, but I'm trying to build this business. And I'm trying to show how it's been built. But these people doesn't want to build it. Guess what? We are not in the recruiting business. We are in the sorting business. It's like when you go to the supermarket, who likes avocado here? I love avocado, right? And when I go to the supermarket that I want an avocado that is ready for eating tonight, I'm gonna touch the avocado, I'm gonna feel it, I'm gonna move it. Okay, this avocado is ready, I'm gonna take it. Or I'm gonna do the same thing, uh-uh, this is too, too raw. I cannot have this avocado today. And guess what's going to happen? We're going to put it back. Always happen, right? With any fruit, anything that you're going to buy that you want it ready for today, you sort them. You try to find the one that you have ready for today. So in a business of a sponsoring, you're going to keep sponsoring new promoters because you want to find your generals. You want to find out the people that wants to build a business like you. You want to build a proper business with people that doesn't want to build a hobby. The hobby are the 80%ers. You're going to love them there. You're going to help them accomplish that. You're going to celebrate them. You're going to always be the fact that care for them.
because they accomplished what they did want it. They wanted just $500 extra a month. But your goal in your mind is, I need to find me a general, someone that wants to be a bronze and help other people to become bronze, okay? Because the reality is, your team is not your whole team. Your team is your personal production. Your team is the people that you personally enroll and sponsor in this business. That's the people that you are with them all the time, duplicating, helping them, connecting it to the system, and build a proper business with them. The reality is, if we add mathematically the volume that we can create with our personal production, we are always going to be bronze affiliate. We're going to be a bronze affiliate no matter what. So what you need to do is create a bronze factory to have a lot of people in there that have a bronze productivity. 10 customers, 20 promoters. Why you wanna go out and sponsor 20 promoters immediately? Because 20% of 20 is four. You're gonna find four generals if you sponsor 20 promoters immediately. The other 16 are the 80 percenters. Want the product for free, they want to earn $500 extra a month, and you're gonna find you four people that wants to go the whole nine yards with you, that wants to build this business powerfully. But then you're gonna tell me, Francisco, but I heard with three people, you maximize the comp plan. And I say, yes, you can maximize the comp plan with three promoters, that's true. But what happens if life happens and one of those legs leave the business? or they stop building the business. You're not gonna be able to maximize the comp plan or you're gonna have to start all over again because with three, you maximize it. But when I tell you that I go and try to find me four generals that wanna build the business with me, one of those legs are my cushion leg. Cushion seems that I wanna feel comfortable maximizing the comp plan. I wanna feel comfortable building my business in depth with four legs instead of three. Because if I lose one leg completely, and this has happened before, I don't have to build again another leg to maximize it again. My business is gonna be maximized already because with three, you maximize the whole compensation plan. And what you need to do is teach people with your, and I will highly recommend you, to go to your sponsorship line, to go to grab a mentor. It is very important for you as a newbie, as a rookie, is to look around you in your business, who's gonna be your mentor. Your mentor doesn't have to be your immediate sponsor. You can have a mentor in a business that you say, I'm gonna look out at this guy or this lady and I want her or him to be my mentor. I need mentorship in this business. Everybody needs a mentor. If you think that you're gonna build this by yourself, this is not a long range business. You need a mentor, you need a team, you need support, you need people to help you out in this business. That's why it is very important for you to have a mentor, to grab a mentor. Very important is when I see Chris in my, in my book, He's a person that I see as a mentor, but I also see him as a friend and as a brother. But you need to, I'm gonna remind you of something. There's an issue sometimes can happen in network marketing that is very important. Don't get familiar with, your, with the person that you have as your mentor. Familiarity is a problem in the sponsorship world. Why? Let me just give you an example. I get and I have my mentor. And me and my mentor become great friends, brothers like brothers. And we play, we hang out with each other, we have time together, we become family. But then my mentor needs to switch the gear as a mentor and help me with something that maybe I'm not doing correctly. Guess what? I'm not gonna be listening to him if I get too familiar to him as a friend, as a brother, as a family, because he's like a brother or family member talking to me. 
is not a mentor. So we need to make sure that we don't, we can divide the relationship of that mentor, mentor relationship with the, the reality of a friendship or a family oriented relationship. Because when he switched the gear and said, okay, Francisco, let's talk something that we need to, to, to deal with so we can have better success. Now I know he's, he's going to talk as a mentor, so now I'm going to listen to him. That's why sometimes when I know Chris is talking something to me that benefits me to learn, like in Chicago, we had that moment. In Chicago, I, I, we, we did a, the event in Chicago, and he came to me, and he started talking to me, trying to fix some issues that I needed to learn about sharing the story in a proper manner, in a less time frame, and teaching me principles of it. I was listening to him all the time. Why? Because I, I was looking at him at that moment as my mentor, trying to direct me to the right path to be successful in this business. And then when we switch, and we're gonna be all blue together and having fun and be friends, we are friends. We, we play together. We work hard, we work together, we play together. Okay, so when you have a mentor, make sure that you can switch from mentor to family, to family, to mentor, and you listen to your mentors. Because the mentor that you select is the one that's gonna properly guide you through success in this business. What do you want to accomplish? Do you want to accomplish a lot in this business? Listen to your mentorship. Listen to the guy. L read the guy. Use the app properly accordingly to the trainings, to the mentorship. Do everything in your power to sponsor people. Okay? You always want to sponsor. You don't want to recruit. You want to be in the journey of that new affiliate all the time. Second pillar, very quick. The next pillars are easy. There's an, it's not a lot of information of, that I have to profound on. It's, the next one is retention. A lot of people want, goes to me and they want to know the whole compensation plan. Trust me, sometimes my messenger is like packed. With a ton of people, they want to know, I want to know the whole comp plan. I want to know all the bonuses. I want to know all the percentages. I want to know everything that has to do with the comp plan. I said, instead of wanting to know the whole compensation plan, what I would highly recommend is to know how to activate the compensation plan with little activities. And the only thing that you need to do is duplicate those little activities in your whole team. When you duplicate the whole activities, you maximize the whole complex. And the retention comes from loving all people. The retention comes from plugging people to the welcome calls, plugging your new affiliates to the culture, letting them meet the whole team, build a relationship with them. Do not see people as a dollar sign, as a transaction. The problem is that we sometimes get confused because we have so high goals that we are working in accelerate pace and we forget that this is a relationship-based business. So the key for retention in this business is to build a relationship, is to really care about people. If you don't do that, you're not gonna retain them. If you don't care about people, if you don't build a relationship with your affiliates, guess what? You're not going to retain them. And the way you treat your personal affiliates is the way they're going to, they're going to treat their personal affiliates. And that's going to duplicate in your business. Guess, guess what? Guess why? Because your affiliates will not do what you say. They will do what they see you doing. That's a trick. Your business is going to duplicate with actions, not with what you say. So if I say something that I'm not doing, what, guess what I'm duplicating? What I'm not doing. If I'm promoting this business with what I'm saying, but I'm doing something different, 
my affiliates that are especially new in the business, I'm going to be watching every single detail of what I'm doing. And guess what's going to happen? They're going to be doing what I'm doing. They're not going to be doing what Francisco says they need to do. That's why I'm in every Zoom that I am possible in. If I'm sick, if I don't feel well, sometimes I don't have the camera. You're not going to see my camera. If you see my camera, it's because I have my triple shot dose and I'm all over the place and I'm happy and I want to just hang out with everybody in the Zoom. I want to learn and I want everyone to see me that I'm in the Zoom. Why? Because all the leaders in my team are going to, Francisco is connected, so I need to be connected. If I want to be successful, if I want for uh, one day um, leave my job and have the success that all these leaders are having, I need to be connected in the Zooms. I need to properly train myself. I need to go to events. They're going to get to those own conclusions because it's the way the mindset is created between 80 and 20. Everything that you do in this business is thinking in the 80-20 rule. That's it. That's it. 80-20 rule. Okay? So, retention is the way you make people feel. It's a way you help people to connect to the culture, to the environment. That's it. Third one, it's duplication. It's not what, you, what it works for you. It's what you can duplicate. One day I told to someone and said, okay. The person want, wanted to create something for, him, for herself. And I told her, that might work for you. But think that when you're building a business, let me ask you something. Do you want to build a team? Say, yes, I want to go the whole nine yards. Okay, whatever you do properly in this business needs to duplicate to the last person that joined your business in next month or every single day. It's funny because the other day there was one of the leaders in a Monday call talking about the script. And how simple was building the business with the script? With, do you drink coffee at all? Do you want to be happy? Have you heard about the happy coffee everyone is talking about? Oh my God, you need to try this. This is what happened to me. And then connect it to somebody else. That's the script, correct? That's the script that started two years ago. And there was a ton of people, oh my God, what's it? what the script? And I saw a lot of old people that have been here longer time say, want the script? Want the script? So it's not what works. It's what you can duplicate for years. If you establish a system that can be duplicated for years, that's the pillar in your business because no matter how long you've been in this business, for 30 years, 40 years, 50 years, you're going to have a significant business growing all the time. Because duplication goes head, hand to hand with simple systems that help you build your team and your business. So, for example, and don't get me wrong, it's something that you can do. I'm not saying this is wrong. I want to do the, the, this disclaimer. If you encourage people to hire an outside coaching system, all the time to be able to be successful in this business, that's not duplicatable. Because a new person that joins your business, they're going to say, oh, so now I have to spend also this all amount of money in a coach that's going to help me properly become a, a successful in this business. They don't even know yet if they are an 80% or a 20%. 20 percenters that are already making money in this business, they go, they hire a coach. We need to grow more and more and more sometimes. They go out and they do all this personal development, hiring coaches, hiring all these people. But let me tell you, that's not the way to, that's not the message that you have to send to everyone because sometimes you're just talking with 80 percenters. So and if you are talking with 80 percenters, it's just keep it simple. Keep it so simplistic that a doctor can do it, lawyer can do it, homemaker can do it, a teenager can do it, a college dropout can do it. Everybody can do it. 
if everybody can do it, it's a duplicatable business. It's a business that is going to grow and it's going to surpass the test of time. You're not growing a business for today. You are also growing a business for tomorrow. You are also growing a business for 10 years, for 20 years, for 30 years. Who wants to make residual income for the next 40 years in this business? Your residual income. Put it right here in the comments. I want residual income for 40 years, for 50 years. You don't build a business just for today. You don't want to eat a lot of food today and starve tomorrow. You don't want to be in a starvation mode tomorrow. You want to know why leaders are jumping from opportunity to opportunity, from company to company to company? Because they build deals for today and because they don't follow the principles of how you sponsor, how you retain, and how you duplicate. We talk about pillars. Those are the three pillars. Sponsoring, retaining, duplicating. If they don't follow those guidelines, they're going to have to be jumping from deal to deal, from company, from company, from company. Because they don't feel those pillars. They don't grow a significant and substantial business. Sponsor, don't recruit. If you recruit, you don't build a relationship. If you recruit, you're just expecting them to stick. If you recruit, you're only bringing them to the business with a dollar sign. If you sponsor them, you lock arms with that person that you sponsor and you help them achieve their goals. In a summary, I'm doing a summary to end that up. So when you sponsor, you lock arms. You go head to head with them. You make them for them in the beginning. You make them with them and you help them teach others to make them. You duplicate the system with them. Three, three things. In the beginning, you do it for them. Then you do it with them. And then you teach them doing with others. That's it. That's how you sponsor. But you keep there. You keep celebrating anniversaries, birthdays, barbecues, going into the boat, doing everything you need to do with your leaders. You have to build a relationship. Second, Retention, you have to retain what you have. How you retain them? You plug them to the system. You plug them to the welcome calls. You plug them to the events. You plug them to the Zooms. You build a significant love relationship. Love relationship means love them where they are. If it is someone that wants a product for free and it's celebrating that they have the product for free, celebrate it with them. Celebrate it with them. Because that's the only way you're going to retain them. Don't teach to hit the home run. Teach them to hit the hit. To have three customers. To have six customers. To have seven customers. You want to maximize the comp plan? You need only eight customers to maximize every rank. So why you want to shoot for 700? Why you want to shoot for 1,000? Shoot for eight. Try to get 10 just in case two don't buy that much. Get 10 customers, enroll 20 promoters, find your four generals, and you maximize the whole business. And you're gonna retain the whole business because your four leaders, they're gonna be just bronze. And you're gonna help them achieve bronze and duplicate more bronzes. Bronze, 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 bronze in depth. If you learn to do that 10 levels in depth, actually I learned from a mentor many years ago, Go 33 levels in depth, building the same first rank. 33 levels in depth. And I say, what? That's going to happen. You duplicate your business in your first rank. And this case is bronze, the significant first rank that everybody is with productivity. And duplicate that. That can go 33 levels depth and even more. And you will see a business forever. So retain people with love, with culture. Third one, duplication. And with that, we finish. Duplication is a key word in this industry. So duplication happens when the leader is going to see you that if you do this all the time, they're going to say, man, I got to duplicate that. I'm going to do the same thing. Why? Because people will duplicate what you do. 
they don't duplicate what you say. What you saying or what you preaching has to be congruent with what you're doing. Your actions preach louder than your words. So everything you're doing, it's what is gonna be duplicating in your team. Either you duplicate it right or you duplicate it wrong. But no matter what, it's gonna be duplicating because guess what? It's one of the pillars in this industry. When everything is a pillar, it's gonna happen itself. It's gonna go its own course. That's it, okay? So that's what I wanted to bring you. I could be talking about all these subjects for days and days and days because it's 24 years of experiences, books, and everything that I have learned in the past. But um, I know these are the basic principles that are gonna help you being uh, more successful in your business. Find a mentor, find a great guide. I'm always here for you. I love you guys. No matter what, always reach out to me and I'm, I'm gonna be there for you. So God bless you all. I don't know okay, what I have to do now. Okay, I just have to. I think I just have to end the meeting. If you want to unmute yourself and say something, we'll say bye. Thank you so Good. much, Francisco. Bye, Francisco. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. So much. Thanks, Thank Francisco. You. Thank you. Great. Great. Thank you so Thank much. You so much. Thank you, Francisco. Awesome. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Aloha. Mahalo. Oh, my God. Thank you, Francisco. Mahalo. That's us. Aloha. Mahalo. Thank you for the insight. Thank you for the beautiful training, Francisco. God bless you. Amazing.